offered to get a lot of money for Vepna, but 127 million? I was not expecting that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for Club 5, episode 3 of Hall of Famer here playing Football Manager 2023. Yeah, that fee for Vepna, absolutely astounded by that. Wasn't expecting that, I must admit. But, um, there we go. Now, I'm not 100% sure what's going to be happening in this video because you can see we are in the middle of March. And if we have a look at our schedule, all we've got is two friendlies. Now, surely uh, World Cup qualifying is going to be starting, uh, like, maybe later on in the summer like maybe towards september october i'm really not sure but um i don't intend to show you friendly games i was just coming back now to just update you really because this is all we've got i don't think there's any friendlies like any later on in the in the season so we're in the middle of march so we could very well get to the summer and not play any fixtures so I'm really not sure how this works, but I guess we'll go on and see. Now, in terms of the Euro Cup, the sorry, the Nations League, I don't know when this is actually being played. It is, I guess. I, I just I don't know when semi final. I I don't know I don't know when this is being played. I really don't know when this is being played. Um, can I like look at this? Profile, schedule, kind of thing. Semi-final. Again, doesn't give me dates. Does not give me dates. Fixtures and results. So, 13th of June. Then, and then there's that. And then they play again. And then there's the relegation bits. So, okay. So, that's not going to be taking part until the summer. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work, to be honest, but you know what? It's all good. It's it's fine. It's, yeah. So it looks like we're going to, I mean, we've got the World Cup coming up next year, but are we going to be here for that? I'd assume we would be, but, um, yeah, so far we've played six games in charge of Spain, and um, we've won three and won three, drew two, and lost one. So, I mean, it's not a terrible record, but it should really be better than that. But it's fine. We'll go on, and we'll be fine. I just wanted to come back now, just to give you an update on the fixtures, really. I'm not sure what we're going to be playing. I think we'll probably play some World Cup qualifying games. But that probably won't be until like September or October. So we've got a lot of time to holiday again. So, yeah. I'm not really on board with this whole international management thing um i did see a lot of the content creators early on like like before fm23 was released that a lot of them were saying that uh, it would be nice if they sort of bumped up international management a little bit made it a little bit more eye-catching a little bit more you know a little bit more like you want to do it kind of thing rather than avoiding it i wanted it for the experience of it because yeah, I just wanted to manage an international team and mixed of mixed opinion, mixed reviews on it at the minute. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm gonna holiday a couple more months and then we'll come back and see where we are. I'm I'm not gonna play these friendlies. I find them pointless. Really, I did say that. Oh, we haven't had any friendlies with this team and whatnot. I don't do friendlies anyway. So yeah, and we were sort of just thrown into those fixtures more or less straight away, like a month and. Yeah, maybe international management is not for Parker. Just saying. Well, I just thought I'd bring you in here. We are at the 3rd of June, so the uh, domestic season has finished in England. Pretty sure it would have finished in Spain as well. Um, Watford finished 13th, and from what I can tell, um, I mean, the transfer window hasn't opened yet. I don't know if there's any future transfers lined up to leave, but this is how things look. I don't think this has changed since uh, you last saw it. Vepnar there at Man United. How has he got on? That would be quite interesting to see, really. Um, he's not played much. Oh, no, he has. Sorry. 24 starts, 6 goals. Not the best, but he's only 22. He still has lots of time to learn and grow. Now, um, saying that, Man United did finish 7th. So, I'm quite surprised that Simone wasn't sacked because of that. I mean, they haven't really 
been the best the last couple of years, have they? So there is that. Man City won the league yet again. Watford all the way down in 13th, just on 42 points. Really disappointing season by their standards. And they've got Mr. Sissoko in charge now as well, so I wouldn't say that's the best appointment, to be honest. Um, Nova, I mean, to be fair, he's still there. He looks like he played pretty much every game. Pro oh my god. One assist. Jesus Christ. We we, we could have uh, we could have got better out of him, certainly. A rudder as well, still there. Played pretty much every game. Only conceded 38 goals. Hold the phone. What? Which means they didn't score many, did they? Well, that was their problem. They only scored 35 goals. That was worth the 19th place Leicester. And 18th place Brighton. Well, they didn't have Vepna for the second part of the season. And they had no Bohinen, did they? So, that would probably be why. And, you know, between them, like 50, goal contrib 50 goals came from them last season. So... That'll be why. My God, they need a striker. But yeah, Man United finished in seventh a bit. Um, we did by that, to be honest. If we have a look at the championship, we don't have any teams in here now. We're Sheffield Wednesday getting relegated, and of course Scunthorpe not being here. Uh, Coventry finishing in sixth, so would have been nice to see them reach the Premier League, but not quite yet. League One, oh, Sheffield Wednesday lost in the playoff final. That sucks. And Scunthorpe finished sixteenth, and oh, Ryan Lowe is no longer here. Was he sacked? He was sacked. Wow, that does surprise me. That does surprise me. But Jimmy Floyd keeping him up. Um, I mean, not terrible, I guess. You know, 54 points. Clear of relegation, no problem. Jake Wright at uh, Shuffle Wednesday there, finishing in fourth. Not bad from them. Not bad at all. So, yeah. So, that's how our former teams got on. And, yeah, if we have a look at our schedule, there's literally nothing here. So, I'm going to go forward a little bit more. And I guess we'll see. This is how those friendlies ended up, by the way. I didn't play them. I just holidayed through them. So, uh, yeah. I guess we'll see what happens. So it looks like qualifying has already wrapped up. So uh, we'll come back on the 15th of December and do the draw. And I think that'll probably be it. Maybe we go to a football game somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. I think the entire time I have been doing Football Manager on YouTube, this is the most amount of time I have gone through in a single video. I started in March, and we're now in December for the World Cup. Let's view this, and then I've got a little surprise for you after the draw, because I'm going to be doing a live com of Manchester City at home to Watford in the Premier League. Now, um, Watford do seem to be doing better this season. Uh, they did sign a player that I was really interested in, and hopefully, you'll get to see him in this game. So, I have clicked on View Draw for the World Cup. So, it would be nice if it was to load. Interestingly, England are the favourites for this World Cup. Which, um, yeah. Which would we prefer to get in our group? Ivory Coast, apparently. We'd really like them in our group. So, would this like to load? Because all I see is some empty chairs. And I know another content creator who absolutely loves chairs. Absolutely loves them. So, can I start the draw? Or is there something going to come up? Because this is the first time I've done this. Literally, guys, I have just finished watching the best program of 2022. And I know this video is not due to come out until probably the middle of February, maybe a little bit later. But... Yeah, we have literally just finished watching The Traitors. What an incredible show that was. I'm gutted for Will. Absolutely gutted. Right, anyway, we have 48 teams left to draw. We have so many groups here. I don't remember there being so many before. There's th Okay, so this is different. This is definitely different to what we've just had with the 2022 World Cup. So we have how many groups here? What, 12? A, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 groups of three. I mean, I guess I could have worked that out because it's 48 teams left to draw. So we, are we in pot two? No, we're in pot one. It's just we're not highlighted. So we 
we avoid all of these, which is good. Pot two. Who would we like to avoid from pot two? Um, I think I'd be alright with anyone in pot two, really. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, so the group winners will basically just go through to like a last 16 and go from there. Right then. So let's get this draw started. So we're in group A. Awesome. Group B has USA. And we'll just simulate through all this. Right, so group A. I mean, maybe Senegal. I'd like to avoid them. Maybe Poland. I don't know, because this is, what, six years in the future now? So I don't know how any of these nations have gone. So I'm just going to do the start draw thing. And we'll speed it up a little bit. So we are with South Korea. Right, okay. I would have thought Human Song would have retired now. So South Korea. And the other team is Mali. Okay. Interesting. And then we just skip through the rest. And that is your World Cup groups. Spain, South Korea and Mali. I'm assuming we'll only play two games. In the, uh, in the group stage. And then the group winners will go through to the last 16. And then it'll basically, I think, just be a free-for-all. So, can play anybody, really. And there we go. So, that's all done. So that is all done. So we know our World Cup group. South Korea and Mali. And I mean, I don't think there's going to be... I mean, is there going to be any qualifying games for the for the schedule for maybe ne for 2030? I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, we'll only have the uh, fixtures for the World Cup... Which, I'm pretty sure we'll get through those two games with two wins. I'd be surprised if we didn't. I know that for sure. I know that for sh definite sure. God, come on, load. Oh, this bloody schedule section is a piss take because it never loads properly. Oh, come on. All right, um, unfortunately, can't see the fixtures yet because uh, they're not out, but this is just confirmation of the group again. Mali, South Korea and Spain. Uh, the games will get started sometime in June. Uh, 15th, maybe 16th? I honestly can't remember. But um, we'll, be back we'll be back next video with that. But for now, as promised, we'll um, go and watch Watford game. Because I think, if I just hit continue a few times, because I did say um, I would attend it on the... Because I checked the fixtures. I did say I would attend it. So let's hit continue a few times. If it wants to load, it'd be cracking if it did. So Brazil are the current holders of the World Cup. In this universe, we um, we saw while I was in charge of Scumthorpe that England actually did win the World Cup in 2022. Obviously, that didn't hit. That didn't um, see again. It, do it doesn't say when those games will be played. Pre-Cup World Fun needs to be scheduled. That's fine. I don't know if we'll. Oh, okay. So it needs to take place between Monday the third and Sunday the ninth. Of June 2030. And as you can see. We are attending the Man City Watford game. So. Uh, we've got that to look forward to. We'll be doing a live comm of it. Like I said. So I th I'm assuming. We'll be heading to the. City of Manchester Stadium now. We'll be there. Ready for kick off. And uh, we'll see what. Uh, Sissoko can do. In charge of uh, Watford. 
And see, this is how the Premier League is looking at the minute. Watford are currently fifth, so much better than what they did last season. They finished 13th. They sold Vepna to Man United for £127 million. Pounds. When, when I purchased him, he was £30 million. It was absolutely crazy. I'd imagine not all of that fee would have been paid up front. But uh, I guess, you know, they're doing all right without me now, which is good to see. And they've, they've still got a rudder as well, which is good. So let's see uh, what happens here. Remember, my last season at Watford, Man City did do the double on us. So uh, we'll see what happens here today. You see there are one or two regens starting to make it into some of the bigger teams. You saw the left back there. And uh, Villakazi is the South African player that I was uh, trying to go for um, in my last season. You know, while we still had Vepnar and Bohinen. So, uh, yeah. But it, that is the uh, chap that I was on about. So, what are we? Are we on? Yeah, of course, one key highlight still. Because we've literally just skipped through a load of games, haven't we? Well, friendlies. Didn't skip through others, really. Um, can I... Yeah, replays. Yeah, just goals. Oh, no, it'll just show me key highlights, won't it? So, Kimmich with a free kick. And he comes close, to be fair. But you can see your in goal there. That's cool. Uh, Man City stats. We might as well bring those up there, which is fine. So, Arada, Nova, Kuma, Salisu and Ferrero, Scamp, Gallagher, Madison, Palmer... Uh, Albel Ruiz and Villa Villa Kazi. Skado Vidovic to Rodri. And Haaland heads home. But is that going to count? That looked offside to me. Let's do the old trusty. Oh no, I can't. I can't do that. I was going to say that did look offside to me. Watford faithful are happy. Myself included. As expected, Man City have been the better team, but got to half time and it is nil nil. I would hate for you guys not to see a goal in this game. With, uh, yeah, with. Oh, Livermento is at Man City now. And Heatley. Uh, Cascado now. I wonder where they got him from. I would have thought he would have been a foreign Cascado. Right, Ferrero. Abel Ruiz, oh, loses the ball so easy. Salisu, Heatley. Oh, Kumas has done terribly. And Haaland's hit the post. And yeah, that's the one area I really did want to improve in the Watford defence, and that's uh, the centre-backs. Uh, the the full-backs, Ferrero, uh, sorry, Ferrero and Nova. No issues with them at all. Good up-and-coming youngsters, uh, full of potential. Uh, I would have... Um, I say I would have loved to have been there for them, but I just think, you know, we won the FA Cup. Could I've really taken them any further with the finances I was given and everything? I just don't know. And and Ossiman is in, and Ossiman has scored for Man City. Can't believe they signed. Or they have Ossiman and Haaland. That's just that's just a cheat code, surely. I think, has Haaland come off for Ossiman? It looks like he has. He has. You can see uh, Jahalterson from Man City getting in their first team now. Yes, it's a substitute appearance, but you can see he's going to be a really good player. And Kimmich now, just a few minutes left of this game. With a free kick for Man City. Olise, Kimmich. Let's get it into Rodri. Victor Ossiman is in again. And it's 2 0. And Hajolson got the assist for that as well. I think 2 0 seems about fair. Although Man City have only had five shots on target. Maybe a sixth, I'm really not sure. But um, yeah, it's six. Are we going to see anything from Watford here? Unfortunately not. And the game just ends now. And Watford's pain. Elise, Foden, Ossiman. Oh, Kumas, well done. 
but we've literally not seen the uh, the new star striker there at Watford. It's now 29, and uh, they signed him for just under 50 million. So I think that would have been a not a record because of the Nova deal. I think we paid 58 for, but um. Yeah, no, um, as expected, really. Decent performance from Man City. They fully deserve the win. So, uh, there we go. But, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please make sure you drop a like. Hit that subscribe button if you do happen to be new. And I will see you again at the same time tomorrow. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure uh, what day this is coming out on at the moment. Um, I was hoping to sit down and get all the Watford stuff scheduled, but... Um, other things got in the way tonight, unfortunately. But uh, that is all good in the hood. And, uh, yeah, we've got the World Cup coming tomorrow. Um, we'll do both both uh, group games and then we'll just go from there. But there you have it. Watford are in sixth place. They're not doing too bad. And hopefully they can finish in the top half this season. Been an improvement on previous season, of course. Now, before I left, they were predicted ninth, I think, before I, before I joined Spain. And um, Watford are now predicted 8th, so that's not too bad. Um, I am expecting a rudder to uh, get a, big, a move to a bigger club. Um, maybe in the next summer, possibly. I don't know, but I guess we'll just have to see. But like I said, guys, thanks again for watching. Oh, Allegri is in charge of Man United. I missed that. Ah, oh, damn it. I missed out on that, didn't I? Because that is a job I would have been really interested in. See, Man United down to pre-season predictions is sixth. They really should be doing better than that. So Allegri is now in charge of Manchester United. Did they sack Simone? They did. Damn it, I must have missed that. Because I really would have been interested in that job. Has Eric Tang Hag had another job since he left Man United? Because he wasn't even there for a year. So he had another job set. I'd assume he would have. Simone there for six years. Only won one cup. <gasps> he retired. Oh my god. So he retired. He retired after he was sacked by Man United. Well, he might not have been retired. He might not have retired straight away. But he. Oh God! I was not expecting that. Really wasn't expecting that. But yeah, guys, um, I've said this three times now. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I will see you again very, very soon. Ciao for now.